grab it here. Um, working on the MMU2S build, but this is finalization, so there's some um, spool holder and buffer assembly is next. And um, should actually be easy, so let's take a look at the instructions. And um, so we're going to build five of these spool holders. So first step is to clean it a bit, stick four pads on the bottom. And then we're going to take two axles, four bearings, put the bearings on the axles so we get a shaft. The bearings, and then we're going to put the bearings in the box, and then we're going to fasten them in with these um, yellow parts. Like it shows here in the picture. And um, then there will be a continuation where we do the buffer, but um, we'll, we'll um, do one of these um, holders first. And I'll only do put one together, and then I'll do the rest myself. No real point in repeating. So let's take a look at um, what the parts look like. So here's the base bases, and there's five of them. The hardware is in in one bag called holder. And the axles are here. The locking pin, locking parts are here, and then the bearings. Yeah, and then the the feet. So they're just like take them out. So. Okay, let's do one and then uh, I can do the rest. So, now I have the spool holder. And now we need to put the pads on it. Probably not that. Oh, wait, maybe I should actually check where they want to put. <laughs> Forgotten already. Uh, on the flat, okay, so it's just, just on this flat area here, approximately, I mean I don't think that there is a super requirement for accuracy, as long as they're approximately in the right place. Wow, I could have a bit, I do want to get it a little bit close to the core. Mm. Yeah. And then we put that one in there. Now that's done. Wants to get the axles repaired. It's these ones. Put that there. I mean, basically, these are just the hole that the axle doesn't come through the bear. Yep, done. So, I'm going to get to work and put the rest together.
Okay, that's the um, spool holders fixed. So now we're gonna move on with the buffer. Okay, now we're gonna have a look at the instructions for the buffer starting at step 8. So we need the hardware and these um, plastic plates and um, new buffer parts. Ah, okay. So that's a new version with longer hook, compatible with MKS. Please jump to step 10. Okay. So does it mean that we shouldn't use the shorter one? Okay, I'll show you the parts that I got in my package. Not completely sure what they mean. Okay, and then it's just a whole bunch of parts. And that's 10, okay, so then it means the... Yeah, so it's the long, only long ones, in, in my case, are included in the package. Wonder why. Anyway, come on, I don't know. There. Okay, so that's that. And then we should be putting the baffles in place. Yeah, and these are just those the spacers to keep them apart. Tightening screws too firmly. Okay, then there are the spacer, the short ones, or, or the ones without. And then there's the hook. This is gonna be interesting. Okay. Okay, that's old version, old version, old version. I think we jump over all that. Final check. Okay. Okay. So that's what it should look like. Interesting. Don't really know what we should do with this stuff. <laughs> but yeah, it'll probably probably become evident. I must admit that I haven't actually looked at it. Do you not understand? Okay, ah, I say we just build it. So let's have a look at the parts. So they come in um, two bags, one for the plastic parts and one for the hardware. And then you get a bunch of PTFE tubing, you get the assortment of uh, oh, screws and nuts and stuff. And then you get the actual plastic parts. And there is only the long, well, the ones with the long, long end, end on it. So. so let's get started. Okay. So now they <laughs> there's protective film on either one or two sides of each of these. So I'm gonna have to 
Pick it off first. Oh, let me show one. So that's off. <laughs> I'll do the rest off cam. Okay, now we got the um, took the protective film off all of these, and, and I had versions where it's on both sides. And then you're supposed to select the larger one, which is this one. So we put this one away, and the holes need to be on the on the right, the two holes. on the right and then of course it needs to be like that and then they're saying about the the side that had the protective coating on it should be facing oneself but uh, that doesn't make sense and it's symmetrical part and I have the protective film on both sides so I don't really know uh, what the meaning of that is and then they warn that this will fall over easily when you're trying to put all the five um, plates in So anyway, I'll try and let's um, try and put the plates in and see <coughs> how it happens. Ah, so there's a fall over. So they suggested putting some heavy object behind it. I think I'm missing a plate. Hmm? Oh, st oh, they're all going. So, just slot them in. Actually, make a close up of that with a mini cam. still see it. Oh, it's just black on black. Again, it makes it so difficult to see. Oh, that's maybe better. Oops. Almost enough. So, and then we're supposed to put some screws, and I'm assuming that they are the long ones. One, two. picture to see um, which side they were supposed to be pushed through. Yeah, okay. So it should be pushed from the front. And through all the whole stack and hopefully it'll go I'm expect no, that seems to creep through okay. And on the other side, the same trick, yeah, seem to work. And I don't, oh, doesn't seem to fall down immediately at least. smaller part I think we can put 
think we need the mini cam anymore. Going back to this view. And then it should be so the side with the two holes is on the right. That's there. See if we can convince the plates to go where they're supposed to. Whoops, this might be a bit difficult. Okay, so that's gonna be <laughs> that's gonna be take a while. So let's be back when I've kind of got it in. Okay, that was in there. Now we need to put the long screws through. So like that. Nuts we need to be put on. Don't tighten too firmly. I suppose this is like light tightening. Whatever the technical definition of that is, I do not know. Put over here, just for the best view. It's probably not needed. Tire that. Our own judge from I suppose this time. Tight that should be. Okay, why is that not catching? Oh, that should be that's a full length screw. Printed part deep enough to be caught. There we go. Okay, so reasonable with the tightening, I suppose. to be interested to see what this is used for. So, so I don't remember what what this was related to. So, so far so good I suppose, and then there's going to be six spacers, 
Oh wait, I don't need to be careful. Because two of them are going to be the long ones. Okay, so we need to make sure we still have the two holes on the right hand side. Top and then middle, middle. Oh, actually, not according to the picture, it should be more like this. Like in that order from the bottom. So, the bottom, from the bottom, the first one. First one, second one, third one. So, I'll just get those screwed in. Yeah, I could just show on the other side also. Then it will just be the same three spacers like that on the on this side. So I'll get those screwed in. So that's together. along there, like that, and the top one, and all the nuts are on this side. So, let's see what we're supposed to, supposed to do next then. And that's the old version instructions, so we can jump over those. Okay, so then there's a set there, a step in the handbook to, um, to, um, follow. And I still have... a lot of screws, many more than just... There are five screws remaining, M312 remaining. Keep them in the connected printer tubes to the buffer later while reading the handbook. I don't think I've missed uh, as many more screws than this far. Or was it for the old style design then? That they used shorter. Second, I've, ah, ah, there was adding PTFE tubes, both versions. Okay, now, now we're supposed to, okay, now you're supposed to use up five of this. Sorry, but I missed a step. So, there, one, two, three, four, five. PTFE tubes and then okay this is interesting I should like uh, go in there how much Okay, so it's supposed to. Okay, how? how right. Two or three millimeters onto the other side. Good. Okay. I mean, you can see it if you. I don't know if the camera will 
bulbs. But if you push it through, then it comes through to the other side. And then you can uh, uh, just it's okay. And then you need to put a screw in. No, this up here. It looks like it's to the surface. Ah, oh, pretty tight to screw. Okay, I'll get the rest of the tubes in using the same method. Okay, so that's done. I was actually only able to use this because my bits won't fit into the <laughs> electrical. Uh, yeah, screwdrivers. And then we're left with like they said, five screws, and we should do something according to the manual, and um, you should also check with this, just pushing it into each one and see that the uh, filament slides backwards and forwards, as it should. And now it's horrible time. That still have some left. I gave mine to my kids. And then the final check, there isn't really much. So now it's um, concluded this part. So let's see. Anything to comment on on the list? No, doesn't look like it. Anyway, so that's done now. Uh, we've completed the buffer uh, and the um, filament holders, spool holders. So anyway, consider subscribing if you felt this was interesting. Um, consider hitting the bell icon if you, because now we're going to move into pre-flight and then we might have to look at the manual to see if there's some specific things we need to do to put the buffer on the printer or something. And then um, inform others that are at this stage in the process, or if they want to follow earlier steps, and uh, enjoy. That's what we're going to do. And I'll see you in the next one.